Are you looking to integrate your form with Soft360 so you can add your contact or company on Soft360? Well, that is possible on JotForm. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to JotForm. My name is George. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate your form with Soft360. That way, when anyone fills out your form, it's going to automatically create a contact on Soft360. Or in other scenarios, we can also create a company based on the information that's filled out on the form. So I'm going to show you how on this video. Let's get started by creating a new form where we're going to use that information to send it over to Soft360. So let's go ahead and create a new form. And for this demo, we're going to use Scratch from Scratch and Classic Form. There we go. This is our builder. And now let's drag in the elements that we might need for the information to be sent over to Soft360. So in this case, we'll say, for example, the full name. We'll ask, also ask for the phone number. We'll add a short text for company name. So for example, company name and the email address. OK, let's keep this one simple. But again, you can add the more fields for elements if you want to send those over to Soft360. So this is just the basic form. Let's rename it. Soft360, whoops, 360 form. OK, this is just for we, so we can recognize it later on. Now, what do we have to do to integrate? Let's head on over to settings, in this case, integrations, and let's search for Soft360. Here it is. Let's go ahead and select it. And what it's going to ask us is the email and the API key from Solve. OK, so let's head on over to Solve 360 over here. And I'm already logged in. So what you have to do is head on over to this gear icon to head on over to settings. OK, and under settings, we're going to view our email. In this case, this is the email. Let's go ahead and paste it here. And now we need the API key. Let's go into my account. Let's scroll down here and this is the API token. Let's copy this API token and let's paste it right here on API. Let's authenticate and there we go. It's been integrated. Now it's going to pull the information from Solve 360. OK, so let's go ahead and select it. And we have two options here. We can either create a contact or a company. Let's start off with contact. OK, let's select from the name. For example, on the left, it's asking us for the first name. And we're going to tie it to the element from our form. And it's also asking for the last name. Again, we're going to select name, the business email. In this case, we're just asking for the email, but we'll say it's the email. If we could add more fields. So for example, if I have more elements on my form, I could tie those to solve. OK, so in this case, we have all these options available from solve. And in this case, we'll ask for the business phone and we're going to tie it to our um, element from our phone. So it's selected. And there's also more of these fields if we like to add, um, add, for example, the business address, home address, um, archived, background, avatar, and all of those can be added right there. Let's go ahead and delete that one. And let's complete our integration for this. There we go. Integration is ready. Let's go ahead and finish. Let's go into our solve really quickly. Let's go back into our dashboard and Let's go into our contacts. Let's go over here to the list. There we go. So these are the contacts that are available right now. Let's fill out our form and find our contact right here. So let's go into our form, go into publish, and we're going to test it out in a new tab. OK, so I'm going to fill out my name, which is George Aguilar. There we go. I'll just add a random phone number, the company name, in this case, my company. There we go. And we'll add a test email for this. OK, let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. It's been submitted. Let's go into Solve 360 over here. Let's refresh it. And there we go. Here's my name here. It was created a minute ago. And here's the email. Let's go ahead and select this person right here. Let's select it. And here's the information. If you later on want to fill out the rest of the information manually, that is possible unless you tie one with another and it's going to send it over here. Now, what if you want to create a company? Well, it's actually pretty much the same, but it changes a bit. So let's go into settings. Integrations. Let's go into solve. Let's edit this integration. And now we're going to select company. 
So now it knows it needs to create a company and not a contact. So in this case, company name, we'll tie it to the company name field and we'll select, for example, there's an email. The email field is not available on this. So it's probably not asking it on solve. There's other fields that we can add, but for this case, let's just add a company. Let's complete the integration. So remember, we got rid of the contact um, integration. Now it's company. Let's go into publish. Let's go ahead and test it out. Again, we'll fill out this information, but it's only going to grab the company since that is what we tied over there. So again, we'll add this right here. Test to email at test.com. Let's go ahead and submit it. There we go. It's been submitted. Now it should create the company on solve. Okay. So again, let's go into companies now. Let me get rid of this right here. Okay, there we go. Here's the company created. It's the name and it was created a minute ago. And I've just added those elements. If I type these elements with the rest of my form, I would get that information also. So that is the way that you can integrate your form with solve. That way, every time that someone fills out that form, it's going to automatically create the contact or the company that you want to have it sent over here. So that way you can continue using solve as you would like always. Well, there you go. That is today's tutorial. If you guys want to check out more videos, there will be more coming. I thank you all for watching and we'll see you later.